Hey guys, and welcome back to another XTeam WordPress demo. Thanks so much for making it this far. This has all been really informal, but it's nice to know that you're building an XTeam website alongside me right here, and that we can just chat about XTeam and WordPress stuff down in the comments, because that's what I think this is all about, is just building. You'll already see some style changes from part six, because today we're gonna stack our header items like this. I think you're going to like that look because it's all over the web these days. And then we're going to add the social media icons into the header navigation so people can click and share. At the end we're going to set up a blog and put it in our navigation menu, but throughout we're also just going to make some other small changes to our hero image and to the buttons and stuff like that. Alright, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun and let's do it. For starters, just log in and get your customized window open, your cornerstone window open, and your um, main homepage window open, those three, and whatever else you need for inspiration, like our casper.com website, which we have referred to in the other parts because it's awesome. And we're going to go to header. All right, and so the first thing I'm going to do is actually click fixed top. I forgot to mention that we're going to fix our header so that all right, so now that we're logged in, let's go to um, header, and we're going to make our header, instead of static, fixed, so that when we scroll, we still get the header and the menu. Um, and I guess it's just the menu that comes down with us, but that's great, because that'll let people click around, and uh, we can even put a home icon over here so people can use the home button. Next, for the stacking, we just need to go from inline to stacked. And then you'll see that once you get used to the stacked look, it's actually really nice as opposed to inline. But of course, whatever works for you and your site. These numbers will change the spacing that's around the items in the header, like this white space above our text logo and below it. All right, and then down at the bottom, I want you to click on on the top bar. We can just set that to on because that's this space above our text logo where we're going to put in the social media. And I will delete that for now. All right, so your site should look roughly like this with a white space above the text logo and then everything else just normal. So let's save and publish and refresh our site. Cool. Next, we want to put those social media icons right above our logo. So let's go to Cornerstone and let's add sort of a dummy section where we can get our social media. All right, so we need to add section, click add section, and then elements, and let's drag in social sharing. Drag that over. Now you will get this new kind of widget. So let's click share this post and open the options and just leave this blank, the text, but turn on all of your icons and social media widgets that you want to use. Just turn them on. All right, and so these won't go to your individual pages. They will actually just share the site. It's going to open a pop-out to share, which people can use to share any page on your site. And because we're inserting them on the home page right now, then these buttons will share the home page of your site. So keep that in mind. Now let's just save and refresh our site. All right, so now we can go to the bottom where our social media icons sit, and we can right click and then open inspect element. This is a little trick to copy paste widgets to any part of your site. We just have to find them in inspect element and see how they're highlighted when we're on the right section the blue and green above and then we have to find the social media icons and I know where those are so you can follow me if you want as we go down the tree and then all you need to do is click your mouse on where it says div class equals x entry share and make sure the blue is over this part and then hit control or command copy that's it once you do that come back to customize and in your header area, make sure you're in header, 
with the top bar content on, just paste that code in there. It's just one line, but it's actually a lot of lines. And they will show up pretty quickly. All right, so there they are. You just need to copy that from inspect element where my mouse is on div class x entry share. Not this part, not this part, but this part. And then paste her in right here in top bar content. At the very top of that top bar content, there's a part that says p share. And we just want to delete from this p bracket to the other p bracket so that that text goes away. All right, pretty cool, save and publish. And now when we refresh, we should have these nice social media icons up here, awesome. What your site might actually look like is this with this little border below the icons and some more space. And if you'd like to get rid of that, follow me to the custom tab and then just write in .x-entry-share which will target this specific section and then write in the CSS for border none which should get rid of that gray border and then padding dash bottom zero which will get rid of that white space that was included in the border and then save and publish and you should be all set alright to make those changes on our hero image like C touch curve and then just to tighten up the spaces you can just go back to Customizer and use the visual editor or the text editor, which is on top of our image, which is the background, text on top of image, and just delete some of those space short codes, which look like ampersand MBSP, and put a strong or a bold around the header just by highlighting and clicking bold. All right, and the rest of that stuff is about the same. All right, and now that our header looks great, I wanna just add the home tab because when it's sticky, we want that link for home. So let's go back to our dashboard, which we can get to through Cornerstone. Dashboard, appearance, menus, and this home link is always a good idea. We should have created that early on, but we just forgot. And then just type in your domain name like that and I think we want some lowercase and then add to menu and you probably know how to create a custom link so there we go not bad and it shows that we're right on the home page cool stuff alright now let's finish up by creating a blog page where you can write awesome original content to get the word out about your site and we're going to start by going to new page. All right, and then we're just going to call this blog. And we're going to leave the template as default and publish. And now we're going to go to appearance. And now over to settings, reading. And let's set that uh, post page as blog and save changes. That's just how you make your own blog page within the WordPress settings. All right, and now back to appearance, menus, let's add blog, add blog, add to menu. And right at the end looks great because it's not as important as uh, our shop feature. All right, and now when we have blog in our menu, people can click it and they should see our posts, which is really cool. All right, let's see our posts. And if you want to know how to change this header text for the blog or the subheader below it, then just ask in the comments and I'll help you. But that looks good enough for me, so let's add some posts. New post. All right, and then we can give ourselves a featured image to start because that's going to be the most visually attractive part. Um, and then let's add a nice attractive image like this uh, TV in a living room. So featured image. Then let's just write in amazing products. That's our thing. And publish. 
We also have different formats for posts to play around with, and we'll talk about that later, but check those out too. Let's see what the standard format looks like when we view post. It's pretty cool. It has this nice framed content and the text is in this white background, which I love. And our featured image looks nice and, and pretty. So that's just one post. Let's add another post and then let's see what our blog looks like. One more post, set featured image. We'll choose the model on the television. No, I actually will choose the, the library because I like that one a lot. And we'll say, come visit us soon. All right. Let's see what happens if we choose the image format now, because I'm not sure. And then publish. And let's make one new post, one more. Three posts is a good number. Set featured image. And lastly, we want to choose um, all right, we'll choose this one and title that Experience the Curve. And let's make this one a gallery. Let's see what happens if we make this one a gallery. Publish. All right, and now let's click to our home page. And we can hit the blog and see what we can read here. All right, so it looks like we have some content, which is great. And the different formats are showing themselves here. All right, so the standard format is the image, the title, and the text. Image and text are clickable. The image format is just the image and the title, both of which are clickable. And then the gallery format doesn't have anything because we probably need a gallery. Just some stuff to consider as you make your blog perfect for you and your website. My guess is that we'll need to bring in a short code from the Xtheme demo sites to use the gallery uh, to its fullest. But we now know a little bit of the blog's features and the exciting thing is they are vast in what we can do just like the rest of the theme. I'll note that for the share icons, if you want to share a specific page, like one of your internal pages, the about page, the reviews page, the products, then we're going to have to edit um, that code that we put in the top bar to show the specific um, link. If you'd like to share a page other than the home page when people click your icons, then just let me know in the comments and I'll show you the right link and the right code to put in. Alright guys, thanks again. I'll see you next time.